I'm a developer here at TechSmith Corporation, and usually I fight Mike Curtis over who can be the biggest Jing nerd on campus. But today, I'm here to talk to you about why using Jing too much can strangely be a big, big problem. As you use Jing more and more, one of the things you may start to notice is that it starts to suck up a huge amount of resources. For instance, if you open up Activity Monitor on OS X, you'll notice right here I've got Jing running and it's, it's sucking up 116 megabytes of uh, real memory here. So one way we can fix this is to actually come into your user folder, pop into the library folder right here, then application support, scroll all the way down, find the TechSmith folder, and you'll find something called Jing right here. And what I do is I just grab this bin folder right here and I pull it right out. Okay. Now I'm going to actually quit Jing and I'm going to go ahead and restart it and we'll take a look at the type of memory now that Jing is using. So it's down, it went from 116 megabytes down to 33 just by getting rid of that bin folder. And you'll notice now that this bin folder here has been replaced and there's nothing in it. Okay, so if I take a look at this actual bin folder, this is where Jing stores all the local copies of the screen captures and screen recordings that it's made. For instance, if I look in the in folder one inside the bin, um, there's some info, there's an MP4, and there's actually a, this is actually a, a binary blob, it's a thumbnail image. So you can see this is what we call the local data store, and this is what starts to suck up a ton of memory. Basically, uh, at least my theory is, is that the history is loading all of these thumbnails into memory. Um, so the more you capture, the more information's in your history, the more that loads up and it sits in, in memory. And we've had reports of people using up to half their RAM uh, just with Jing. So it's definitely something you want to do. I do it about once a month or, you know, whenever I've started to get a lot of captures in the bin. Now, one thing to be aware of is that uh, when you remove that bin folder from Jing, you no longer have those videos and images in your history. They're gone. Uh, Jing doesn't know about them anymore. They're still up on your screencast.com account if that's where you've been loading them or your FTP account. They're not deleted or anything when you remove that folder. They just don't appear in Jing's local history anymore. Now, let's say you wanted to go back though. Let's say a couple months ago you had done something important. You wanted to go back and go sift through your history and find something. What you can do, I'll quit Jing again, is and I'm going to delete that bin folder. And I'm going to come up to this bin folder here. This is my backup. I'm going to move that right back into the Jing folder there. And now I'll fire up Jing again. And you can see the history is populated now with all of those captures from my backup folder. So you can uh, swap your local data store in and out and it will make a tremendous amount of difference to the amount of RAM that you have and sometimes the startup time. If the way you roll with Jing is on Windows, you'll find the local data store in a couple of different spots depending on the flavor of the OS. On Windows XP, it'll be in Documents and Settings, Username, Local Settings, which is a hidden folder, Application Data, TechSmith, Jing, and it's this folder called Data Store. On Vista, you will find it in Users, Username, App Data, which is a hidden folder, Local, TechSmith, Jing, and Data Store. Now, the way you would back it up is either back, uh, drag the Data Store folder off to some backup location you want to keep it, or as is done over here, datastore.old. Rename the folder to something other than datastore and continue to leave it in that same location. So that's all there is to it. Jing should be a lean, mean fighting machine for you people. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of hackery, and Mike, it's up to you to try and beat this level of nerddom. Peace out, Jing peeps.